is time to eat. I've already been spending like crazy and it's not even on like stuff that's useful, like, you know, clothing or, you know, uh, I bought food. So the Garrett, this was the medium, uh, what do they call it? Caramel crisp. I was gonna get a small because budget, but it just looked really good once I got in there and it smelled amazing so I had to buy it. I don't like almonds or peanuts or anything so I stuck with just the plain old caramel. Um, yeah, but that's that's what I'm bringing home to the family. You're welcome. Besides Shake Shack, it's actually just around the corner from this hotel. Besides Shake Shack, there is a big bowl. And I have never heard of this. I don't know. It's a Chicago, Chicago Minneapolis, D.C. I'm assuming that's the only place you can find it, so that's like a score. Um, I was going to go to Portillo's, and I saw everyone walking around with those Portillo's cups, but it's just... I'm not like a hot dog fan, and I'm not like a sandwich kind of fan, so having all that bread and meat is just not appealing to me. I haven't decided if I'm going to go yet, maybe try their pasta, but I think there's probably other places I can go to that have like just as good pasta. So we're trying Big Bowl. Um, I hope it's good. It's supposed to be Chinese and Thai, which is, what? <laughs> in two different countries, but like, okay. So they give you, um, they give you, she asked if I wanted chopsticks, but because I was having rice, I was like, no fam. So she gave me, uh, she gave me fortune cookies though, which is awesome. Also some soy sauce, but for what I'm eating, I don't really want to put soy sauce on that because that's just kind of strange. So time for the big reveal. What did I buy? This was pretty pricey, but it's actually like a hefty, hefty meal. And then I realized I'm in America. That's normal. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Yeah. So they gave us uh, soy sauce. Those are like two packets of those. And then two fortune cookies. I mean, like it's only for me, but I'll take double the stuff. That's totally fine. Um, yeah, that's just the fork that I got with the meal. And then this is the meal itself. I'm immediately getting a very Chinese aroma. It's supposed to be Bangkok shrimp, I believe, and I asked for white rice. Um, but based on like what I'm smelling, it sounds, it smells more Chinese than Thai. I feel like they have two, dis two distinctive scents. This is what it looks like, a Bangkok shrimp. Yeah, it smells very like Chinese. It doesn't really smell Thai at all. So maybe they just said Bangkok to keep the theme of uh, the China-Thailand fusion, but it smells more like Chinese food. The, the spices, it's just very different. Okay, so I had to switch up the angle just because you couldn't see anything earlier. Uh, so now we're about to dig into this. I think, actually let me talk about what I like and what I don't like so far. Well, I mean, I haven't tried it yet, but you know. Um, I don't like peanuts on my food. This was meant to be a pad thai um, but with rice rather than noodles, so I mean that's why I kind of kept the peanuts there So I'm not gonna let that kind of like ruin the experience for me So let's just try to get everything in one bite And there's shrimp in here as well as scallops So I want to maybe like cut one of these scallops in half because they are massive If anything, yeah, we're gonna We're gonna give her a cut just because I want to make sure I get everything into one bite uh, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. Oh, sweet. Okay, so the shrimp is actually... It's cut up for you. Why couldn't they cut the scallops, though? Okay. <laughs> Alright, I got a scallop, I got a shrimp, I got peas, and rice. There's also, like, the onions, the peanuts, but that, like, you can't really... Every bite you take, you're gonna have some of that, so that's fine. Alright. Um, 
with the scallops, I'm used to used to eating I'm used to eating bacon wrapped scallops. Um, and I don't typically eat scallops with shrimp. I don't know there's no real real reason for it. It's just I just don't. Um, but it's a nice combination. Like it's not too fishy. And the peanuts actually don't overpower the dish at all. So that's like something I'm really happy about. I kind of wish I would have like gotten this with noodles instead. I mean, I love noodles. Like they're just my life. Um, and that would have been really nice. But with the rice is good too. Mmm. I think I... Oh, wow. Okay. Um, one thing you need to do if you do eat this is stir it well. Because I just got like a kick of spice. And I don't know, I don't even know what spice is in it. That's that's the crazy thing. But like I can feel it in the back of my throat. Like it's really, it's really good actually. It's not hot by any means, but it's like a very nice kick. Um, I think like I would still consider this mild. Someone who can't handle spice, they can probably still eat this. But it's just, I didn't expect that. I didn't see it coming. So, I mean, it's really good. Mm-hmm. What I was saying was before the spice hit me, I think I do want to add some soy sauce to this just because I can tell there's already some soy sauce in there, but you know when there's like just not enough of it, like that that moment or that like before you hit the peak, that's kind of how I feel. Like I feel like they could have put just a dash more and that would have been good. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add some to, to this. Mmm. But it's really good on its own. I just added some of the soy sauce in. Um, and now I'm just going to stir it through to make sure it's like well incorporated. Um, there's actually a lot of rice underneath here too. So that's really good. I thought I was not going to have enough. Because at first it only looked like there was just rice on that side. Like that half. And that, and that, we'll go with that. Yeah, that half. And the rest was just like the actual pad thai. But no, it's actually, there's rice underneath it too. So this is a pretty big portion. Um, and I like my big portions, especially because this is pretty pricey. This was $17 before tax. Tax here, I want to say is 10%. So I paid uh, 20, 20 something. Um, yeah, so it's basically like being back in Toronto. <laughs> oh, those peanuts, it's like, they smoked them or they roasted them or something before they actually ground them up. They're really good. I like it with the soy sauce. It adds that like bit of a bit of sweetness and then like that typical like tangy flavor that you're used to when you eat with soy sauce. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this. Um, I approve, it's great, it's bomb, it's so good. Will I purchase it again? No, because I wanna try other things. But would I purchase it again? Yes, like it's it's really really good. Um, I'm kind of excited to see what other foods I'm gonna find here, but this is so good. This is the aftermath. I couldn't do the onions. I hate onions, so well, I don't hate them. Just I can't eat them like a vat. So yep, I did it. What? I'm so full. Ugh.